once again we are back on ekman soshi t talk train of thoughts with a series of an episode with professor vijay kant bama chancellor of <coughs> dr c v raman our university of patna and also is heading the core research and innovation group of an isec group of an companies with their five of uh, isec group of an universities there are five universities which are there sir welcome back to ekman soshi t talk again like uh, it's a interesting insights what we have gathered right from uh, uh your corporate journey to the uh, academy i like uh, sir now in this vocab world like how the skill market trends have uh, changed uh you see the skill market has been changing but uh, of late for about a decade or so uh the change is very fast mm-hmm. only difference is that mm-hmm. earlier it it was giving time for skill development Uh, for people to switch from one skill to upgraded skill like uh, the scooter mechanic used to have a different kind of machine now it is uh, smart machines smart have machines come which have come. Uh, in automobiles also uh, they have they are becoming a smartest mm-hmm. and uh, electronics part has started increasing it yeah. is so if you look at auto industry it is true representative of multi dimen multi disciplinary uh, skill set correct correct uh, electronics uh, uh, intervention has become much more mm-hmm. uh, artificial intelligence has come into uh, mm-hmm. automobile correct, correct. Uh, so but uh, what is happening is that in last about a decade the boundaries of disciplines have broken yeah. and it is tool oriented world now we mm-hmm. are in so you have tool for everything correct yeah. and uh, the tools are so complex mm-hmm. it is only the operating skill correct yeah. normally i tell uh, the skill uh, training people that they should uh, focus on three things what uh, how and why mm-hmm. so what is the observational part correct. so what you need in a skill correct if you need a skill on say artificial intel- intelligence mm-hmm. so that is the area so you should be familiar with artificial intelligence okay. then comes um, how mm-hmm. so that is the operational aspect right okay. so the skill has to have the that operational aspects mm-hmm. that means he should if it is a repair of a smartphone mm-hmm. he should have adequate tools okay. how to operate it okay. how to get result how to uh, test them okay. what are the benchmarks okay the next thing is why right why it is like this mm-hmm. that is the domain normally skill people don't touch it mm-hmm. if they touch it they will excel correct because right. they will uh, improvise many things Correct. they will improve many things they Correct. will bring in change in system mm-hmm. so Correct. they know only if something is not working yeah is the observation what is happening is Correct. and how it is happening and how it is to be repaired correct that's that's they know correct now in this world when everything is uncertain correct and things are changing Change very fast, fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, one has to be ready for upskilling correct. as i told you the first principle is lifelong learning correct so the skilled uh, worker has to be ready mm-hmm. for up skilling for changing the skill mm-hmm. because few things are there which will depart from the scene a new thing will come correct correct they have to be ready for that correct but in everywhere what corporate world is called calling abcd mm-hmm. is coming correct which is the base for all the skills mm-hmm. that means artificial intelligence will be there on on all skills there will be cloud computing will be there computing is all part of mm-hmm. now uh, every skill right. uh, blockchain Blocks. is part of skill so these are irrespective of your field 
Correct. You have to have. So NEP has brought this change that in a school uh, curriculum itself, Correct. they have introduced many skills like this coding they have introduced, Correct. cloud computing they have introduced. Mm-hmm. So um, the schooling is giving a base, base foundation, foundation uh, skill set which are there. Higher education is taking time to change mm-hmm. because uh, our faculty, yeah. uh, it is one is they are not ready to change. Mm-hmm. There is a uh, they are inhibited with resistance to change. Mm-hmm. So they want to carry on with the old thing. Mm-hmm. So there is a resistance, uh, but uh, that has given opportunity to the outside operators Correct. to come in form of uh, in various forms mm-hmm. like Coursera and uh, Burlington all these people have come from abroad mm-hmm. because they are feeling that India is now a good market mm-hmm. for giving skill training Correct. 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 now higher education as per the new education policy mm-hmm has also a lot of a skill component. Mm-hmm. The vocational education now is part of uh, higher place. education. Correct. So this change uh, the education industry has to take mm-hmm. and I think uh, um, ISEC group of universities mm-hmm. was ready to it mm-hmm. uh, with the background of uh, our skill network, skill network which was, and uh, with the visionary um, uh, sight of uh, this group, including our chairman uh, Santosh Chaube, mm-hmm. uh, so uh, that's how we have been able to absorb this and uh, introduce the skill in a big way. Uh, when this uh, exactly ISEC uh, uh, skill development training actually started in which year? Uh, we started uh, skill courses compulsory in uh, 2013. Okay. And now uh, it has uh, earlier we said two skill courses. Mm-hmm. Now it has increased to four and six. And uh, uh, now the skill training also has improved. Mm. We have a uh, lot of uh, industry associated with us. Mm-hmm. They have opened their centers here. Oh, like we have center from Daiken, we have center from Lucas. Mm-hmm. They have they are uh, imparting skill training. Mm. We have advantage of a uh, Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Kendra, mm-hmm. which is having all skill uh, trainers, uh, certified trainers in lot of areas okay. and we have started increasing those areas. Mm-hmm. So we have almost about uh, more than 50 uh, such areas in which we are giving uh, skill training. I see. Uh, including we have changed very fast like we have uh, uh, skill training available for the COVID uh, workers. Mm, okay. So we train uh, for COVID uh, workers also. Oh, I see. We uh, train for uh, solar, all the system. Mm-hmm. We train them for electrician. We train them for automobile. Mm-hmm. We train them for beautician course. Oh, I see. So we have host of these train skills. And that time itself, I said that it should be cross-disciplinary skill. Uh, Correct. Major exposure of So that. we uh, have uh, uh, changed our curriculum. I see. Based on that. In uh, ISEC universities you will find that uh, we don't have academic calendar. Mm-hmm. We call it academic uh, ac- activity calendar. Okay. So uh, it is not only the classes and examination which are on the academic calendar. Oh, so it is all the activities including um, the guest lectures mm-hmm. when they will be scheduled. Mm-hmm. For that we have activated uh, a, a student academic council. Mm-hmm. They organize the guest uh, faculties guess for, for in area which they want. Correct. Then we have a lot of uh, 
को करिकुलर एक्टिविटीज लाइक विश्वरंग आई से कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री टू विश्वरंग वी हैव ए एनुअल इवेंट शोध शिखर विच वॉज हेल्ड ऑन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ मार्च दिस ईयर सो इन दैट द रिसर्च एंड स्किल एंड इनोवेशन इज बींग सेलिब्रेटेड एज ए फेस्टिवल वेर वी इन्वाइट ऑल द यूनिवर्सिटीज so nice. we have a competition of uh, research papers mm-hmm. and we have a competition of research projects okay so in research projects we invite uh, diploma uh, degree uh, students mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it is not o- uh, open to uh, the phd people okay so that's how we get a gathering from right from uh, the diploma to the faculty Oh, okay. so everybody is here and there is a competition uh, we uh, have attractive prizes about 2 lakhs rupees which we give them mm-hmm. so that's how we try to build uh, the research environment I so uh, we have been able to suc- uh, we have been uh, successful in making a good environment for skill development and uh, research Okay, it's a great initiative taken by the ISEC uh, group of uh, univers- universities in terms of an uh, uh, skill development aspects which are there. I am sure that even the corporates are equally involved in terms of an uh, skill development and bridging a gap between the academia and the corporate. It's an excellent conversation what we are having with Professor Vijay uh, Kant Verma, Chancellor of Dr. C V uh, Raman University, Patna, Bihar. Uh, do catch up on uh, www.ttalk.net. with the next episode with professor vijaykant verma on tiktok ek bun source kitel then thank you very much thanks sir